Whoa. I don't know. <clears throat> Have you ever heard of the great Blandon? <laughs> he had it a whole lot rougher than I than I than I am right now. He had a wheelbarrow. And you know what he did? He was a Bible believer. And he tried to demonstrate what it meant to believe. Oh man, it's cold. And in that wheelbarrow he would come to the edge and tell the people, Do you believe that I can take you to the other side with his wheelbarrow? Boom! The people said, Yes, we do! But nobody got in the wheelbarrow. That's the problem with the Blandon story. Ooh. Only Jesus can get you to the other side. That's what's important. Yeah, that's what it means to believe. And to trust. What he did on that cross is good enough. It'll get you there. Oh, a rough day. Didn't I tell you? Oh, yeah. Worst thing you could be is comfortable. Because oftentimes, when you're comfortable, you miss. You miss what the Lord's trying to tell you. Psalms 119 says so. When I was comfortable, I went astray, David said. And it was the affliction. Well, that's what brought him back to the Lord. Listen, affliction is part of life. That's right, Niagara Falls. So let's take a moment to reflect because affliction is a friend of the wise. David said many times, and especially in the Psalms, before my troubles, I was astray. You know, we don't think about God when we are oftentimes doing so well in life. But David says, during my trouble, I was learning to grow closer to the Lord. And then, after all that trouble, he knew the Lord in a very personal way.